Welcome to another episode of Walt's How To's and Reviews. Today I'm going to be going over uh, NMN and Resveratrol, which I heard about from the Joe Rogan podcast when he had David Sinclair on. Um, he's a guy who works at Harvard. He's uh, one of the leading people on anti-aging. I imagine if you're watching this video, you know about him and uh, that's why you're watching this video. So first thing, um, I am taking one gram of the NMN and a half a gram of the resveratrol together. So let's talk about pricing. Um, I bought two different kinds of the NMN. Um, this one comes in capsule forms and it's uh, 30 capsules and only 125 milligrams of NMN per capsule. And if you're supposed to take a gram a day, that's coming out to about $6.66 a day. Um, which is pretty expensive, that's not including tax either. This one is 15 grams, um, it's from Gene Formulas, and it was $69, which comes out to about $4.60 a day um, if you're taking one gram a day. So this one was definitely more cost effective. The Resveratrol, I got uh, A Squared Nutrition. Um, again, I bought it off Amazon. This was about uh, $27. And when I did the math, it came out to about 31 cents a gram. And uh, David Sinclair only takes a half a gram of this a day, so that's only 15 and a half cents a day. Um, so I just wanted to go over exactly how I take this. One of the disadvantages to the, the cheaper one is it doesn't come in capsules because it's uh, quote unquote, you know, 98 or 99% pure. Um, so it's a very, very uh, light, loose powder. Uh, basically, you're gonna need to get a scale if you're going to, um, be taking this and since it is so expensive you know I made sure to get a very accurate scale that goes uh, to the milligram basically 0 0.00 after the gram so I just take a spoon kind of put some on there whoops I need to tear the spoon first zero it out you know that's just a bit over a gram Wow, that was lucky. Exactly one gram, I know you can't see it. And then I'll put it into a glass um, and I'll just show you how I like to take it um, just to get it over with and quick. You can mix it in some stuff. Uh, Sinclair says he puts it in yogurt, I believe. But um, I just put a little bit of water in there and then mix it around, make sure I get it all. Yeah. It tastes kind of sweet and sour. It's a really weird taste. It tastes kind of like chemical, which I guess that's what it is. So hopefully it's the real deal. And then I take just one of these uh, tablets, which is uh, 500 milligrams of resveratrol. Um, so first thing I did is I went to the doctor and I got a bunch of blood tests done. I'm going to share those results. Uh, at the end of the video and then I'm going to take this for two months and then I'm gonna go get tested again and see if anything changed on my results for my blood test I'm younger I do have a lot of gray hair as you can see um, so that would be the only thing that maybe after two months and my hair grows out a little bit I'll see if that changed at all I don't really think that has too much to do with aging as much as it does with just genetics um, so we'll see how that goes anecdotal evidence how I feel um, I can't really say I've noticed anything that much different. Um, it's only been a week, so I'm hoping I'll notice something later on. I'll probably make three videos, halfway point this video and uh, the ending point with the test results just to see if anything changed. And after that, if I feel like I should keep taking it, I will. I have been uh, weightlifting about uh, two months before I started taking this. And then, you know, this week I've been lifting and I was hoping I heard a lot of other uh, testimonials that it reduces uh, recovery time and soreness. So I was really looking forward to that and hoping to see that, but I haven't actually noticed anything. Um, I feel like I'm still staying sore the same amount of time as I did before I was taking this. So uh, it's kind of a bummer, but again, it's only been seven days, so maybe that'll change. Once this really works its way into my system and a couple weeks later, I might notice something different. I'm gonna cut over to my blood test results so you can kind of see what was there. There was three things high on this page. Um, this is commonly called AST, it's a liver enzyme. And this is ALT, it's also a liver enzyme. Here's your range you wanna be in, I was at 71. And you want this under 50 and I was 108. The other one that was high is this creatine. 
not too high you want it in between there I found a few articles that suggested when those three things are high it's caused by weightlifting sometimes um, so I'm hoping that's the reason for it but those are just my numbers you can see everything else is in line with where they want it to be or the standard range I'm gonna make an Excel sheet that'll have all these listed out in the last video um, so we can see the before and after and if it went up or down and what range it's supposed to be in so let's look at the other tests my cholesterol LDL was high um, you want that under 100 milligrams so I should probably make some diet changes but I'm not going to do that till after the couple of months of NMN to try to keep things as consistent as possible and not alter the results on something else we'll see if that affects it at all my overall cholesterol is in the range so doing okay hemoglobin but uh, here's my last result um, just goes over all these different things that again I really don't know much about